Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Is there anybody here that's glad just to be alive today? Amen. At this time, we will have our announcements. Good afternoon, Red Liberty viewers and those that are present. The Bill Committee Problems Assembly will be on Monday. Tomorrow, November the 9th at 7 p.m. over Zoom. Issues talked about will be crime, the violence in the community, mental health, affordable housing, and education. You must register. More info will be available on your social media outlet. Prayer requests. Praying for the Carrie, for Miss Carrie Step and family and the passing of her husband. Praying for our very own Miss Joella Jones and the family, excuse me, and family and passing of her father-in-law, Eugene Jones. Also praying for Llewellyn Jones. Keep the Tyler family, Sister Mary Tyler, who was funeralized here on Monday and finalized funeral in Jackson, Tennessee on Friday. Keep Sister Warnetta Mayfield in prayer, who's having surgery in December. And four ways to give. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He's really sweet tonight. That's okay. Four ways to give. 330 Chestnut Street, Lexington, Kentucky, 40508. PayPal, GLBC Finance Team at gmail.com. Cash out, dollar sign, 330 Bread of Liberty, BC, or in person at the church Sunday through Tuesday. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Scripture this morning comes from Isaiah 26, 1 through 6. On that day, the song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation is established as walls and ramparts. Open the gates so a righteous nation can come in. One that remains faithful. You will keep the mind that is, that is dependent on you. Perfect peace, for it is trusting in you. Trust in the Lord forever, because in the Lord, the Lord Himself is an everlasting rock. For He has humbled those who live in lofty places and in accessible cities, for He brings down. Throws it into the dust. He trample it. He of the humble steps. The word of the Lord is already blessed. God, how we thank you for waking us up this morning, God. Thank you, God, that when you walk us, God, we found ourselves closed in our right mind, portion of health and strength. The activities of all of our nails, God. Thank you, God, just for being God and God all by yourself, God. But there is none like you in all the earth, God. Amen. Pray, God, before the preaching now, God. Pray, God, that you will just remove him from himself, God. Fill him for the people. Let us not see him, but see you through him. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen. 
Praise the Lord, saints of the living God. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her first boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. We are a grateful and thankful people. We're thankful unto the Lord for all things. We're thankful to the Lord for life, for health, for strength, for our salvation. Thankful and we're grateful to the Lord for how He has blessed us, how He has kept us, how He has endured us through these times. So, this song just merely says, Grateful. Because I'm grateful 
I've been through the storm. Yeah. I've been through the rain. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. God ain't done with me yet. He's still working on me. To God be the old Lord. Jesus Christ. Um, because when you've been in the situation that I was in, you're just glad to be in the land of the living. And you learn not to take opportunities like this for granted because you never know when it's your last time. That's right. I've learned that anytime I enter into the house of God, you ought to let God be God and let God have yeah. his way. Yeah. So my prayer is today that God be God and have his way. Yeah. I don't intend to be long, but I hope for God to show up and be strong and have his way. Yeah. Uh, pray with me if you will. God, how we thank you. God, how we love you for being the God that you are. God, I know you to be a God of a second chance. I know you to be a God of a third chance. And I know you to be the God who you said you would be. God, I thank you for this opportunity to enter into your house of worship. Not only to praise your name, but to Claim the good news of your word. God, it's preaching time now. Anoint me from the top of my head down to the soles of my feet. Anoint these lips of clay. Charge not my sins to the people's charge, that they may see more of you and less of me. For thou art the potter, and I am the clay. Make me, mold me, shape me into all that you would have me to be. All that I am is because of thee, and all that I'm not is because of me. Have thy own way. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want to look at, if you have your Bibles today, I want to look at Colossians chapter 3. Um, in the last week, in the last week, I preached three funerals. This sermon here, the Lord laid on my heart for my family. And I feel God gave me, the late Elder DJ Wards would say, there's still some meat on the bone. Um, and I feel it as though God has given it to me again because it is fitting for this season for the people of God. Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, says, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. The word of God for the people of God. Blessed be the name of God. Uh, just for a few moments, I want to preach from this subject, forgive and be forgiven. Yeah. Forgive and be forgiven. As human beings, it's hard to love people who do nothing but intend to harm you. As human beings, it's hard to forgive somebody who has hurt you without care mm -hmm. or regret. Yeah. Peter said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother seven times? Jesus answered and said, 70 times 70. 
In other words, what Jesus was saying was, as much as your brother or sister offends yeah. you, yeah. forgive them. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's hard. It's hard when it seems like they don't do it one time, but they keep doing it over and over again. I, I mean, we're all human. We we all we all have emotions. It, 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 it's not. It, it's good. It's not good for us to stay upset and, and, and down and out because of these things. We 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 forgive them one time and they do it again and and, and after so long it becomes old. But you forget, you've got to understand that forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. What, what, what is forgiveness? Forgiveness it is about extending mercy to those who harmed you, even if they don't deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody gonna help me in a minute. That, that, that there are some folk who are not worthy of your forgiveness. That, that there are some folk who, 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 who don't deserve your love. But, but by holding on to the desire to get even, you continually drink the toxic poison of unforgiveness, hoping to get back at the person who hurt you. Some people die in mind and in spirit and body because of unforgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Unforgiveness is like a boomerang. It, 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 you can throw it at the person who has hurt you, but eventually it'll come back to you. Right. Because you then become angry, resentful, bitter, emotionally dead, and you become prideful. And prideful people set themselves up as a higher judge than God himself. Who, who, who God himself is continually willing and waiting to forgive. How could you not forgive somebody when God has forgiven you over and over again? Talk to me somebody. I, I, I need to talk to some folk who don't sin a little bit, but some folk who have sinned over and over again. And you found out that when you made one mistake, God, God forgave you for that one. Yeah, yeah. What, what I love about God is he, he, you can get yourself into something and he'll love you enough to get you out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sisters and brothers in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 9, Paul emphasizes the importance of honesty among fellow believers. Yeah. Uh, in this verse, he suggests a positive trait that believers ought to express towards each other. And it's right there in the text. He said, bearing with one another. Believers are family. And, and, and we should treat one another with kindness and grace. I, I told my family that even though we're blood, even if we was not blood kin, we're still kin. Because as believers in Christ, we are made up of one. We are humans, and therefore we make mistakes. We can be kind in our response to ourselves and others when we when they make mistakes. In other words, what I'm trying to say is sometimes there's some people that, that sometimes we should change our response of how we handle things. You, you know that 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 boss that works on your nerve at your job, and, and you want to cuss them out. But in the back of your mind, you're like, Lord, forgive me for what I want to say. Yeah. You, 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 you've got to be kind even as God has been kind to you. Uh, divine kindness, God is, God's kindness is taught throughout scripture. It, it, it is manifest in what is called common grace. Uh, God is kind to all he has made, even when his creatures are ungrateful and wicked. His, kind, his kindness is intended to lead to repentance and not rejection. Yeah. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is, even if, even if you mess up over and over again, even if you make the same
same mistake. You ought not reject God, but you ought to repent to God. Yeah. Yeah. For, for the saved believer, that this should come naturally. Those who accept Christ for salvation have been forgiven of their sins. As a result, we ought to be inclined to forgive other people. Yeah. The, 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 there was a man in Matthew chapter 18, and, and this man was, was, was in total debt with his master. And he went to his master and asked his master for forgiveness. Yeah. Because the debt that this man was in, it would take him a lifetime to pay it back. He, he, he wouldn't be able to repay this debt. And when he went to his master, he asked his master for patience. Mm -hmm. And the master said, the master had compassion on him. And when this man... When the master had given this man compassion, he seen another man that owed him money. Uh, sisters yeah. and brothers, yeah. it's crazy because there, there are some folk that are owe you and forget all about you. Uh, and then when you see them, they got all these different things and doing all these things. And you'd be like, where's what you owe me? Uh, and this man, this man that owed his master money and somebody owed him money, he seen the man that owed him money and he threw him into prison. This man only owed him four months worth of debt. But, 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 but his master said, would you not be compassionate? Would you not have compassion on him as I've had compassion on you? Right. Uh -huh. His master, yeah. he asked his master for patience. Mm -hmm. But his master gave him pardon. And I don't know about you, but time and time again, I had to go down on my knees and ask God for pardon for things that I've done. Yeah. I, I know I wasn't deserving of his pardon. I know, I know he didn't have to do it, but because of who God is, he pardoned my sins. Yeah. Uh, John, ch verse, John chapter 1, verse 8 through 10 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. For if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Right. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. But I thank God that, that he's not a liar, he's not a man that he should lie. Right. And, and God has proved himself over and over again to not only me, but to other folk. Paul, Paul directly supports his command to forgive one another by appealing to this forgiveness from God. How did the Lord forgive them? He forgave them of all sins with no room for wrath or vengeance. When Christ took the bread and the cup, Inviting others to eat and drink in remembrance of him, he was saying this. He said, for this is why you need me. You are unforgiven without the sacrifice. Yeah. In other words, what Christ was saying to his yeah. people is, if I don't go to Calvary, mm -hmm. your sins would not be forgiven. That's right. That's right. Christ was a man who knew no sin. But he had it sin inflicted on them. Mm -hmm. And believers are likewise to forgive one another without holding a grudge or bringing up the matter up again in order to hurt the other person. In what, 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 what he's saying is, you ought to, once you forgive somebody, don't bring it back up. Because the Bible teaches our sins and iniquities, he will remember no more. And sisters and brothers, I'm so glad today that even though, even though I'm not worthy of his, I'm not worthy of his forgiveness, he still forgives me. And when he went to the cross, bled, suffered, and died for me, he, 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 he himself had to ask for forgiveness. When he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. God's <laughs> love toward us is unexplainable. It, 
It is no, no greater love that a man should lay down his life. For friends. Amen. And he said, if I lay it down, I'll pick it back up again. Yeah. And sisters and brothers, I'm so glad that, that when it went to the grave, they couldn't kill him. Yeah. Because he said, if I be lifted up upon the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. He stayed there all night Friday, stayed there all day and all night Friday, but every Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. And he said, I am he that liveth that was dead, but behold, I'm alive again, and my sins were forgiven. Yes, and sisters and brothers, all I came to tell you, today is in this season, you got to be forgiven. Because there are some folk who, 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 who have walked out on you. There are some folk who got nothing but hurt you over and over again. But God said, you got to forgive them. Yeah. Forgive them as I have forgiven you. Yes, sir. And I don't know about you, but that shocks my heart that God forgave me. Yeah. I, I, I still don't get it right. I still mess up. I, I, I'm not there yet, but over and over again, the Bible says he doesn't just give me grace one time and stop, but over and over again, day after day, he gives me grace from a new mess. Sir. He wakes me up yes, sir. Yes, sir. in spite of me. I've been forgiven. I've been justified. I've been bought with the price. And on that hill called Calvary, he shed his blood for me. So I don't care what you hold against me. God said I forgave you. And I remember it. No more. For his forgiveness. I'm grateful for his love. I'm grateful that he would love me enough to call me his friend. Yeah. Call me his son. I'm grateful for a second chance.
the good thing about it is, the good thing about God's love is that I'm not worthy of it. Yeah. Yeah. But He still loves me. Yeah, yeah. 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 In spite of me. In spite of what I thought, in spite of what I've done this week, in spite of what I've done yesterday, God still loves me. God looked down and saw man was could not maintain perfection. He destroyed the old covenant. The Bible says all those things that once I was held against. The Bible says God knocked that down. Knocked down the old covenant, set up the new covenant. made a sacrifice to forgive me, to love me, to give more of himself through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting. That's forgiveness. That's love. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God. Yeah. Yeah. That's forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah.
we all like sheep have gone astray. But because his name was on the line, he pulled us back. Let us know that we are his children. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For great things he has done. And the beautiful thing about it is he ain't stopped. He ain't done doing. Because we ain't done messing up. That's right. That's right. But if it takes me today, he's already done enough. My soul is satisfied. God give you glory today for his forgiveness. Another chance that God has given us. Yeah. And you ought to be grateful. Yeah. We're grateful for this opportunity today to minister to you, whether in person or virtually. I pray that God has blessed you. I pray that God keep you. Let's be in prayer for our nation. The next few months that we have to deal with the man in the White House, we need to be praying. Seriously, we, we, we need yeah. to be praying. Yeah. Yeah. Man. We're not mad at Donald Trump. We're, we have no hard feelings. We're forgiving of him. We pray the Lord God bless him real good. Let's pray for the next leadership to come. As America has made history again, the first black woman vice president in the White House. To God be the glory for great things he has done. But we still understand that we answer to a higher power for the government sits on his shoulders. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father. Church, we need to be praying. Give, give me a little bit of that. Give me a little bit of that. Be grateful that there are many that we put out in this season. But God keeps blessing you over and over again. There are folk who have lost their homes. There are folk who have lost their jobs. Folk with no money. But be grateful for what you have. Because even when there's no money in your pocket, God's still putting food on your table. God's still providing for you. Thank you for another 
chance. God, we pray for our nation. We, we, we pray for our president elect. We pray that you carry his vision out. I pray, God, that he understands that he's not dependent on Democrats. He's not dependent on Republicans. He's not dependent, uh, he's not dependent on the Senate. But he's dependent on you. The only one that can guide him through. I pray for our vice president. That she doesn't walk behind them. That she doesn't step over them, but she walks beside them. God, I pray that you guide them through. God, I pray for the world today. I pray for those who have experienced loss in this season. I pray that you restore unto them the joy of their salvation. I pray that you give them what they need in this season. Have thine own way. God, I pray that as we leave this place, but never your presence, I pray for your protection. I pray for your security. I pray for you to be the God who you said that you would be. We thank you today, God. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name.